everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. Is it international? Oh god, I'm going to have to look. Is it National Women's Day or International Women's Day? And happy International Women's Day! So I'm back home again, as you can see. Today is Friday. I came home last night because it is reading week at uni and we didn't have any rehearsals on Friday today. So I thought I'll come back last night and I surprised my dad. I thought he might have known. I'm pretty sure I thought I told him. I thought I told him I'd come back. Um, but I surprised him, which was nice. I wish I'd filmed it, actually. He was actually quite surprised. So that was good. The time is... Oh, it's not even the, it's not the morning anymore. It's half two. I've had a really lazy start to the day. I had some breakfast, which I will show you now. So for my breakfast, I've actually started eating it already, but I forgot to vlog it, so I'm going to vlog it now. I've got bacon and scrambled egg. I just had a real craving for this. I had this in the summer, like every single day. So I've gone back to having this, and I've obviously got my coffee as well. Um, so I'm going to sit and eat this, and then get on with my day. And then I just washed my hair, straightened it, did my makeup, and I'm about to go and get my nails done. I haven't had my nails done for about six and a half weeks. Like that is awful. I don't know if it's just me or not but I don't I get I just get really nervous going to the nail shop I get so nervous like especially if I haven't been for a while like I just get nervous I just get a bit like socially awkward and I like, am really nervous I don't know if it's just me please let me know if you get the same feeling and like I'm actually kind of dreading it like I did think about I was like do I even want to go get my nails done like I'm nervous and I was like no go and get your nails done so that's what I'm going to do and then I've got work tonight. I haven't actually vlogged for a while just because if you've seen my recent vlogs you'll know that I burnt my leg on hair straighteners, I sat on hair straighteners and the burn got infected and I've obviously got a performance coming up next week and I have a lot of movement pieces in the in the show it's quite dancey and just quite physical so I haven't been able to do the dance and the sequences properly because of my leg um, but as a result of moving it quite a lot it's got infected so I went to the doctors and he gave me some antibiotics and I've also got a dressing on it from the nurse um, so hopefully that will get better soon fingers crossed like I I just can't deal with it anymore like a couple of days ago it was so painful I had to get in the shower and just stand in the shower because that was the only thing that that would stop the pain. I was just in absolute agony. So hopefully it's going to be under control soon and start to heal. I just really want it to heal. I'm just over it now. But also this little one is poorly. Maisie is really poorly and she's going to the vets tomorrow but I don't want to say it too loudly. She's got to go to the vets because she keeps being sick. She's still being sick. She's been sick now for about two weeks like just on off. So I rang the vets this morning and um, they told me to bring her in tomorrow, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm like really stressed out about it though because I just can't deal with Maisie being poorly or like ill, like seriously ill because it, she, I just love her so much. But getting her in a cage, she hates the cage. We can't get her in the cage and she just, she will not get in that cage for anybody. I remember when we moved her into this house, she, cried the entire way i cried the entire way because she was so upset she got into a, such a small ball cats get really sweaty paws so she had really sweaty paws she was molting like crazy she was so distressed and it was just heartbreaking and i cried a lot so i'm really worried that i'm going to cry tomorrow which would be really embarrassing bye mate okay i'm just about to go and get my nails done my camera keeps dying i have no idea why i think i need to get better batteries because it is just not working but i'm about to go and get my nails done now i probably won't vlog anything in there again because i said i'm really awkward in there but i will show you them afterwards and just like that i am back i've got my nails done I've just got the, I went for the pink shade because I did kind of want the bronze but like I couldn't find any bronze and I wanted like a sparkly bronze so I just thought right there's so many pinks, choose a pink. But I literally love them, I love this shade of pink, like, I don't really like pink that much but like a baby like pastel pink like, I think looks so nice so I'll show you properly when I get home. So these are my nails, they look a bit brighter because I'm stood by the window but they are like a pastel uh, yellow, <laughs> pastel pink, I really really like them, um, yeah, but yeah, I really like them. I think she wants food but I just, I don't want to give her any just in case she's sick, like when I read it online it said that like just to kind of min like minimalise their meal so they're like obviously got nothing to throw up, but I don't want her to go hungry. There you go, don't be sick. Oh my word, I just found these in the fridge. What they're called Maltese's buttons. My god, these are amazing. I literally can't stop snacking them. I've got no idea who they are, but I'm gonna eat them. 
Good afternoon, it is now the next day, so this is the second part of this vlog. I can't remember the last clip I actually filmed yesterday. Did I film my nails? Oh, I think I was feeding Maisie actually, that was it, yeah. Um, and then I went to work a couple of hours later and then there was nothing to film because I came back at like half ten and then I went to bed. So today is Saturday and it's about, ooh, I think it's like half one, nearly half one. And I'm just about to go into town for a Wagamama's with my friend Megan. I'm meeting her after work. She actually works at the same place as I do. She's finishing earlier and I'm starting later. So we're going to go for a Wagamama's before I have to take Maisie to the fit which I'm so sad about. So we're gonna go for a quick wag moment, have a catch up. I haven't seen it properly in ages. Also, I got this new top on that I got from Primark in the Canterbury vlog. If you haven't watched that, go and watch it. I will link it down below. But I don't really know how I feel about it. Like, it's nice, but like, I wasn't expecting all this like puffiness on it. I saw it obviously in the shop, but like I didn't really think about it actually being on. Um, so I kind of like it, I'm not too sure. Let me know what you think. It is so windy as well. It's horrible. It's like really cold and I haven't got any sunglasses. Oh, I just remembered I have a Wagamama's gift voucher as well back in Portsmouth, which is really annoying because now I have to pay for it. Right, I'm just, I've just parked my car and I'm just going up now to meet Megan from work. I'm a little bit late. Um, there was so much traffic. I forgot obviously it's a Saturday. Um, but my outfit is so tragic. Like I really feel self-conscious about my outfit, which is a shovel jumping jump in now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and meet Megan. So I'm here with Megan and we're having a Wagamama's. We've both got the same thing. Our chicken katsu curry. How was work, Meg? Really good. Really good. I'm working later. Are you? Yeah, I am, yeah. I said on the vlog, I was like, we actually work at the same place. <laughs> Now I'm back in my car. I'm in a real big hurry because I'm going to go straight to the vets now because um, I we just chatted for ages. Obviously, um, I wanted to chat for ages, but I knew that I had to get to the vets and I'm late now. So my dad's got Maisie um, now like in her cage and then then I'm going to meet them at the vets and I literally nearly cried because I could hear her um, meowing like on the phone as I phoned him just now and I'm so sad. I really don't want her to be sad. Right, let's go to the vets. Yay, we're back from the vets. Maisie is fine. Like the vet gave us some like special food to give her, um, because she wasn't entirely sure whether she was being sick or like regurgitating her food or something. Oh, okay, bye. So she's given us some special food to give her, and she said if it doesn't if she continues to like be sick or it doesn't seem to improve, then we're gonna take her back in a week's time. She's gonna give her some blood tests. Or something, but she was really well behaved. She wasn't actually that upset. Like, well, I came in a bit late, um, and she seemed okay. And I picked her up, and she sat in my arms, which was cute. She had little sweaty um, paws, bless her, because she was nervous. Um, but she was fine. So I had a wagon moments with Megan, as you saw, and it was so nice. We had a really nice time catching up and stuff. Um, it's just a shame we couldn't like stay for a bit longer because obviously I had to go to the vet. We're gonna catch up like properly, I think, probably like when I come back for Easter. So that was really nice. And now me and dad have just decided to make some pancakes because pancake day was a week or so ago and we didn't make pancakes, none of us made pancakes. I was at uni, dad was obviously at home but he didn't make pancakes. I didn't make pancakes, so we're gonna go make some pancakes. Okay, that was a fail. We don't have any flour. So I'm off to the shop to get some flour. That's what we want. Okay, so for pancakes you need mixing bowl, flour, one cup of flour, half a cup of milk, two large eggs, two tablespoons of melted butter. Let's do it. Got all my ingredients now. I'm just giving it a good yes, mix together. Oh, oh. Who? Everton. Oh, that's talking about football. One, I reckon that'll be enough. Yeah. There we go. That's enough. There you go. Maybe turn it up a little bit. And then we need this to flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. It's that not doing anything. This because it's just got to be hotter. Oh. Yeah, you just have to wait. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It's fine, the first one's always the worst one. Yeah. I feel like I've done this wrong, I don't know why, but I feel like it should be sizzling more. I mean, it does look kind of ready to flip, but I don't know about the batter on top. Ready? Ready? Go. There you go. No! No, I'm not. No, don't! You're going to do it properly. Go. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, no! And again, we'll flip it again. Okay, ready? Go. Oh. Oh. Hey, what? <laughs> okay, 
okay, we're gonna flip. This is the second one now. Oh, okay. That looks a lot better now. Yeah, that's better. That looks a lot better. This is the end result. It looks so good. I've already had some. It is so nice. Mm. So we had our pancakes, they were really nice, we've got some batter left over as well so I'm going to have some pancakes in the morning for breakfast, I'm going to have them with some fruit which could be so nice. But now I've just got ready for work because I'm off to work now in like 5 minutes. So I'm not going to vlog anymore tonight because I'm going to come back at like half 10 again and I came back at like half 10 last night I think as well. So I will see you in the morning. Good afternoon, it is now the next day so this is the third and final part of this vlog. Today is Sunday, I'm not going to vlog too much today just because I'm not really doing too much. Me and my dad are going out for a Sunday roast um, and then I'm driving home this evening so there's not a lot to film but I thought I'd include it anyway. I don't usually do three day vlogs but because I've had quite a busy weekend I thought I'll just include it anyway. But this morning I've had quite a good day so far, my cousin came round with her little baby so that was really nice seeing them. So then they left and I had a bath and I got ready for the day. I've literally done like no makeup whatsoever, um, I haven't even, I've literally just got concealer on and powder because there's not really any point, I'm literally going down to the pub for a Sunday roast and I'm driving back. So that is what I'm going to be doing today so I'm so excited to have a roast. Fingers crossed they actually have a roast because I did ring up and book the other day and they said they just keep going until it runs out. So hopefully they haven't run out and we can still have our roast because it's nearly 3 o'clock and we've got our table booked for 3 o'clock. So hopefully they haven't run out because I really want a roast and we don't eat roast in this house. Um, so we need one. But it's just down the road so we're just going to have a walk down there, have a nice Sunday stroll. Um, so yeah, I don't even think I'm going to do my hair either. Like, it looks a bit pineapple-y um, so I might sort that out a little bit. But other than that, I'm going to go like this. So we're just at Hunter's, the place we're at, just down the road from us. And I'm going to get the traditional roast. I'm so excited. I'm going to get chicken, I think. Can you see that? Yeah, chicken. I did kind of want ham but I'm going to get chicken. And it comes with so many nice stuff. Food has arrived, it looks so good. We've got our chicken roast dinner. Dad's got the same as well, so I'm so excited to eat this. I'm really looking forward to this roast. So it is now a few hours later. We have come back from the restaurant pub thing um we had some pancakes when we came back because we had batter left over from yesterday from yesterday's pancake making um so we had some pancakes as well and now i'm just packing up my suitcase because i'm going home now not home wow i just called it home because i'm going back to portsmouth i'm actually excited for once because i'm going to see ben and i haven't seen ben for nine days because he's been at home on reading week so i haven't seen him for nine days so it's gonna be so nice seeing him and yeah that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna leave the vlog here so i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you liked it by giving it a thumbs up remember to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you soon with another vlog bye